Hey, 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 got a big topic for you tonight. Thanks for joining me. Cannot wait to dive in and talk with you today about something I saw online this morning that triggered a whole thought process happening. And I wanna share with you how this relates to you and your goals and fitness and weight loss and all the things. So thanks for joining me. This is gonna be a big topic and it's gonna be fun for you tonight. I promise you'll learn something. If you are new to my page, I'm Natalie Jill and I kill fat for a living. Now, when I say that, automatically you go to the fat on our bodies, which is something I definitely can help you with. But what I want you to know is the fat that I help kill is also what I call false assumed truths. It's those things that we've been believing that have been holding us back from achieving great results in life, great results with our body, great results with our health. That's what I help shift and kill. So thanks for joining me. I'm right now on Facebook and Instagram, so I'll be aware to look at both and I'm gonna be taking all of your questions. If you have a friend or family member or coworker that is interested in the topic of health, fat loss, and wants to start the year off great, please share this live. I'm gonna be getting deep into this and I'm also going to be answering all of your questions. So. First, before we start, if you are on joining me live, please let me know that you're on. Tell me where you're drive, chiming in from. Let me know your age and your name. I would love to know your age. The reason I ask that is I'm 48 years young and I love knowing when I'm especially reaching women close to my age. So tell me that. If you are not close to my age, you're still welcome, but I love knowing that I'm reaching you. So, so let me know that so I can say hi to you. And if you're watching the replay, let me know replay, and you may wanna skip just a minute while I'm saying hi to everyone, uh, but let me know that you're watching the replay. Let's see, who's on? Hello from Arizona. Got a lot of people on from Arizona tonight, from California, that's where I am. Hi, Tony44, Penny53, Monica45. See, I, I've got uh, Julia29, awesome. Jan45, cool. Sherry44, I love it. See, whenever I bring that up. Oh, look at that, Serena49. Always find so many people close to my age. I love it, love it, love it. Robin46, Christine42, Lisa52, yes. Yes, we've got a lot of you tonight. Hi, Cynthia44. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Vic48, amazing, from Houston. Oh, got people from all over. Hi, Beverly, lots of you tonight. All right, so let's dive in. I've got a little story for you too. So this morning I was scrolling my feed on social media and my good friend, Allison Maslin, a really good friend of mine had posted a meme and it said, whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. Let me say that again. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. And I really thought that landed with me. Does that land for you? Think about that. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. And that might sting for some of you. But I'm gonna give you a story. It is not weight loss related, but it's so relevant. <laughs> so as I'm talking to you right now, I've got two phones set up um, for the first time. Usually I use a laptop and another phone balanced on it when I go live with you. I've got two phones set up right now. What does that have to do with anything? Well, about 10 years ago, 10 years ago, when I met my now husband, Brooks, um, he was a huge fan of this one cellular service provider, which shall remain nameless right now. He was a fan of it. And he switched me off the one I wanted to be on, onto this because it was a, it was a better deal, right? Well, for 10 years, 10 years, I complained about this cell phone provider. Like it was a daily, weekly, constant occurrence where phone cell would drop. I would be talking to a client and it would drop. I'd be on a walk and it would cut off. I would be driving and the navigation would shut off, whatever. I was so frustrated with the cell service and I would complain about it all of the time. I didn't do anything about it. I just complained about it constantly. I'd say to my husband, this service sucks. <laughs> my contract would run out and I'd say, oh, I'm, I'm due for a new phone. Should I, I wanna switch to another provider. And he'd say, no, let's stick with this one. It's a better price. I don't have problems with them. And I would let him talk me into that. And for 10, flipping years, I would complain about this cell phone provider. It was annoying, it was daily. I use a phone for my business, as many of you do, constantly on my phone, and unless I was literally, Tony, you know, Tony said it, yep, that was the one. I didn't wanna say it, but that's the one I was using, Tony. <laughs> Anyways, it was like literally every single day, I'd go live, it would like cut out, unless I was on Wi-Fi. Constant complaining, complain, 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 of me saying this thing sucks. Well, well. Yesterday, my husband's out of town. I decided, okay, I'm 48 years old. 
Why am I like letting someone else tell me what cell service provider I need? I'm just gonna go into the dang Verizon store and get a new phone, which is what I did. So I went into Verizon, I got a new phone, a new plan, totally happy, no drop calls today. What's the point on that story? The point of that is, why was I complaining for 10 years? Like literally, I was complaining for 10 years about it over and over again and I never did anything about it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It really is. Why? Because my husband or somebody else's opinion, they felt I should be on this, this service. Was that worth the headache? That's not what this live is about. But the reason I share that story is that's an example of that meme. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. Was it that wireless provider's fault that it, their calls drop and I wasn't liking it? Or was it my fault for not changing? My fault for not changing, right? My fault for not changing. I wanna ask you, in your life right now, what are you choosing? What are you not changing that's making you choose it? Let me ask you that. What in your life are you not changing because ultimately you're choosing that? So many countless examples. I get messages from many of you daily on what do I need to eat? What do I need to do? What do I need to take? What do I need to blah, blah, blah. All the questions, right? And what I wanna ask you is what are you not changing? Is it habits? Is it opinions? Is it belief set? Is it the trainer? Is it the doctor that you go to? Is it the relationship you're in? What are you not changing? You see, the only way to get results in life, the only way to get transformation in anything is to be responsible, is to take accountability, to stop the blame. That's the only way to change anything. Blame, putting it on somebody else, a service provider, the trainer, your boss, your husband, whatever. Blame does not change anything at all. It feels good in a moment. It validates a feeling in a moment. We get to be frustrated, right? We get to be right. We get to be angry. We get to blame someone. But it doesn't change anything. And we can be right all we want. We can be mad at that person. We can be angry. We can hate. We could do whatever. But it will never change us. Because when we do that, when we do that, we're now getting rid of accountability. It's out of our hands. We leave it to chance. We leave it to hoping somebody else is gonna make the change for us. We hope they're gonna change. I was hoping dang Sprint was gonna fix their stuff. Oops, I said it. <laughs> I was hoping they were gonna fix their stuff, but they didn't for 10 years. Was that their fault or mine? It was my fault for sticking around on that. I'm speaking to you right now on a lot of levels. Maybe you need to hear this about the relationship you're in. Maybe you need to hear this about that job that you're stuck at. Maybe you need to hear this about that boss that you've been complaining about for the last five, 10 years. Maybe it's that friend that every time you meet them, they're bringing you down, it's not serving you. Is it their fault or is it yours? You see, when we take responsibility, we can change. Taking responsibility is the first step in taking that action. And it starts with a decision to start being responsible 100% of the time for everything. Look, nobody's immune from this. Look, I preach this and I did it with my dang cell phone. <laughs> I did it with my dang cell phone. I preach it. But my gosh, this is a problem because when we go to blame, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Because everything we are right now, everything we are right now is a result of our habits. Our habits. What time we're waking up, what we're eating, what we're doing, who we're letting into our lives, what we're listening to, what we're believing. It's all our habits. Even blaming people, even blaming others. It's a habit. It's a habit and it doesn't allow for transformation. It doesn't allow for you to change things. When you change your habits and you change your belief set around those, everything changes. Everything changes. 
I took over an Instagram account today for Strong Magazine. Uh, many of you know I was on the cover, it's still on Stands Now right now, by the way. Strong Magazine is on Stands Now. I was on their Instagram today, I took over. And I was sharing on there my, my workouts and nutrition and what I've done for myself, what I did to get cover ready, and what I did, um, what I've done with clients over the years. I was sharing it. And I've always been very real with people, I'll be very real with you right now, that what I teach has worked for me, it's worked for many, many people. If what you are doing is currently working for you, you don't need to listen to me, <laughs> you don't need to. But I was sharing because people were asking, how'd you get cover ready? How'd you do that at age 48? Wetman said, how old are you? I'm 48. How'd you do that? I was sharing. And I'll tell you, this lady, gotta love her. She sent me a DM and she was super bitter and she called me an idiot. She said, you are an idiot. That's what she said. I'm giving people bad information. I had shared my workout that I did recovering from back surgery. I shared my workout. I was giving, teaching, sharing others. I wasn't telling anyone how to do it, sharing it. She called me an idiot. Okay. So I said, okay. <laughs> I was sharing my workout, but you do what works for you. And then she kept going. The name calling got worse. I checked out her profile. Y'all, not only was she severely overweight, she had copied my profile. Like she literally was copying my profile, taking copy from my images and making it like it's her brand. I thought, okay, that's really strange. She has a beef against me. Okay, fine. <laughs> she kept going with the negativity. She was so strong in her belief set that she's right, my way is wrong, and it's not working for her. She's not healthy, she looked horrible. <laughs> I'm just being real completely out of shape, trying to go for something, and so attached to her belief set and her habit, habits and her yelling or being mean to other people, so attached at what cost? At what cost? My gosh, our belief sets, our habits dictate everything. So how attached are you, how attached to you are you right now to being right? How attached are you to blaming others? How attached are you right now to what's not working for you? How attached are you? Because I'm gonna tell you right now that many of you listening right now, I know right now, I'm speaking to many of you, speaking to you right now, something is not working for you in your life. Something's not working for you and I'll go back to what I said at the beginning. Whatever you are changing, not changing, whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. So it starts with belief sets and then habits follow. You change your belief sets, you change your habits, you become a different person. And we do that by letting go of blame, by being open-minded and by deciding by making a decision. Tony, I love it, I will let go now. Yes, so we decide, we decide. Y'all, I've helped with countless transformations. If, you're, if you've been on my lives before, you've seen me share some of these, but like, this is Terry, when I met her, when I met Terry. Terry was attached to her habits, that's all she knew, her habits and her ways of being, her ways of living, this is how she started. That's all she knew, she was attached to that. And whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. This was her, she was not happy like this. She decided, she made a decision. She opened her mind. She started believing in possibility. She decided though, that was that first step and look at her now, it's incredible. She decided, she decided. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. Terry changed and you all can change too. You can change too. I want you to tell me right now, if you have decided, even if you've told me before that you've decided, please tell me, say, I've decided. Write it in all caps. Tell me in the comments, I've decided. Drawing a line in the sand, I've decided. Deciding comes first, you all. I've been there, I've been there, you all. You guys, I don't know, many of you might not know my story from 12 years ago, oh my gosh. 12 years ago, I had my daughter. I can't exactly say baby weight now, I got it. <laughs> 12 years, she's 12 years old now. 12 years ago, I had my daughter. I'm five foot two, you all. I had gained 60 pounds when I was pregnant. 60, 60. 
Now, when I show you a picture of when I just had her, before you say, well, you just had a baby and it was hormones, which I did, all of it, true. She weighed six pounds when she was born, six pounds. I promise you the placenta did not weigh 54 pounds. <laughs> this was me. This was me. Look at my neck. Look at my legs. What? 60 pounds of McDonald's right there. Now, I could have blamed everything. I could have said it's my hormones. I just had a baby, all the things, but I decided. I decided first. You have to change because whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. You decided. I love it. Let's see who's decided. Sigrid's decided. Tony's decided. Janine decided. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Tony, you gained 69. Yes. I get it. I get it. Decided. All right. Here's another one. I'm going to show you. I love showing you all the pictures. This is Melissa when I met her before she decided. Remember, what you are not changing, you are choosing. This was her when I met her. Melissa had her beliefs, she had her ways. She had what she thought she knew about nutrition, about workouts, about everything. Not open-minded here. When she became open-minded, when she decided, she made a change, look at her now. What, look at that, same person. That's a decision. It starts with a decision, you all. You make a decision. Your thoughts start changing, your habits start changing. We become a new person when we make those choices. That's what happens. That's what happens. Another one, let me show you more. I've got so many of these, y'all. I love these, I love these, I love these. Oh, one of my favorite ones. This is my friend, Nicole, when I met her. Same thing. Here's when I met Nicole, look at her. Beautiful girl, brilliant girl, super smart, had a great job, career, friends, everyone loved her. She was the pretty girl that was overweight the pretty girl that was overweight. She knew this was not healthy. Nicole knew this was not half healthy. Now she blamed all the things. She blamed all the diets, all the programs, all the training, all the things, she blamed them all. And she knew deep down that whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. So Nicole, what did she have to do? She had to let go of her belief set. She had to let go of what she thought she knew about nutrition. She had to let go of what she thought she believed and what she thought she knew. She had to open her mind, look at her now. What amazing. That's her now, she decided. She decided. So I'm gonna ask you again, have you decided? Tell me if you've decided. Tell me if you've decided. That's what I wanna hear. You don't have to decide, you all, you don't have to. But I want you to know, remember, whatever you are not changing, you are choosing, it's not somebody else's fault. It's not the economy, it's not Facebook, it's not the trainer, it's not your mom, it's not your kids, it's not your husband, it's not your boss. It's not that things are expensive, it's not that things are whatever. It's not any of that. When you take responsibility, everything starts to shift. Everything starts to shift. Heather, you've decided, I love it, I love it. Carl, go away. Um, Carl says, show the boobs. Bye, Carl, you're getting blocked. Okay, um, let's see. Holly, that's amazing. Decided to deal with deep sadness. I love it that you're gonna do that. Simple improvement, yes, let's see. I've decided, I love it, Monica. You've decided, awesome. Gator decided, let's see, stay, take control of your health, yes, wow. So many, you guys, I could go on and I could show you transformations all day long. I've got tons of them here, tons of them. Um, but I'll tell you the commonality with all of them there's another one, here's Amy, by the way. When I met her, she was stuck in her belief set, had all of her ways. She opened her mind, she decided, look at her. Different person, different person, different person. So I'll say it again, you all, whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. This goes back to you. It's time to change. It's time to change. And that first step is making a decision. That's number one, that's all you gotta do. Make a decision. Everything looks different when you decide. Everything looks different. That's that first step. And that's the part that we have so much trouble with because we get so attached to our habits, so attached to our beliefs, so attached to what we think we once knew. But when you make a decision, it's amazing. I know you've heard the expression before that when the student is ready, the teacher appears, it is always true. Now, whether you want me to be your guide or somebody else to be your guide, I'm not attached to that. I want you to find the right person for you. But I want you to decide and then open your mind to a different way. Are you with me? Okay. 
I'm gonna give you all an opportunity too. In January, coming up soon, I'm doing a back to basics with an X challenge. Back to basics with an X. I'm gonna type it here on Instagram real quick for you. Back to basics.me. Um, the reason I'm sharing that is I'm inviting you into it. It's a challenge I'm doing, a challenge that is all nutrition based for those of you that have decided. What I promise you over that time, over this challenge, which will take place over four weeks, is I promise if you come in deciding and with an open mind, I will blow your mind with what you will learn. Your body will change, your focus will come back, your energy will skyrocket, you're gonna lose that weight, and you're gonna feel different. You'll actually start aging backwards. <laughs> I say that because you start looking younger when you get healthier. That's what happens. You start feeling younger. All of it. This challenge is the first of its kind. I'm gonna go deep with you. I'm gonna share all of it with you. And here's the best part, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option when you decide. You decide, you join the, ca the challenge, back to basics.me. I'm all in with you. You will not fail because failure is not an option. And once and for all, we're gonna change things. We're gonna change your habits and we're gonna create massive results. Are you in? Are you in? Let me know if you're in, by the way. If you've already joined the Back to Basics Challenge, let me know that you're in. Or if you're joining it, let me know you are in. I would love to have you on Facebook. I'll type the link after. If someone wants to type it for me, you can. It's Back to Basics with an X. Back to Basics, B-A-S-I-X dot me. And we start in January. You'll have everything you need. This challenge is gonna be like no other challenge, you all. First of all, you'll have private login to my Aging in Reverse community over that month. You'll have detailed nutrition plans that are simple, easy, and fun to follow. And don't worry, I give you swap outs for everything. So if you don't like something, there is no issue because I give you swap outs for everything. If you're allergic or you don't like something, you'll have a weekly live call with me where I answer all questions and I go deep. You'll have a daily, very short, I'll keep it short because I know you all are busy, less than two minute video a day that will teach you about nutrition in a different way. So you get it in your bones, so you get it in your body, so you understand it, so you don't have to stress at a restaurant or at a party or with friends because you'll understand it. It'll be easy and effortless, I promise you that. And failure is not an option. So are you in? Oh, the best part, I'll have workouts for you, but they're not even mandatory. You can do this just following the nutrition. That's the best part. Yes. Ashley, you're wanting to join? Definitely join. Uh, back to basics with an X dot me. Back to basics. Yes, you got it, Tony. Back to basics dot me is where you go to sign up. I would love to have you in it. All right, y'all. Any questions that I miss? You're in. I love it. I love it. So many of you in. Let's see if I can type this while I'm on Facebook without screwing something up here. www dot back. Here we go. Back to basics dot me. There we go. It's there. I put it on there. Back to basics dot me. Yes, we still have room. We start in January. You know what's so cool about deciding you're doing it in January? You still get to enjoy your holidays and just that act of deciding, you know that this is coming. So you're in a good place. That decision changes everything for you. You'll notice a different pep in your step tomorrow just because you decided. I love it. Um, can I do these workouts with back problems? Yes, you are gonna love working with me on this because I don't know if you know, I had back surgery two and a half weeks ago. So backs, back problems, that's my expertise there. Um, so here's the deal. There's, workouts are optional on the challenge. Workouts are optional. It's a nutrition challenge. So that is an option and I'll have them and I will help with modifications. But everything I teach workout wise is very back friendly because of what I've been through there. You're welcome. I love it, Hillary's already in, Land is in, yes, I love it. I have a great work workout routine. Monica, you can still do your workout routine because the challenge is all nutrition. All right, you all, thanks for letting me into your lives tonight. If you missed the beginning, go back and watch. I told you a great story and I was speaking into whatever you are not changing, you are choosing, so I don't want you to miss this message. This will be live on my page um, so you can go back and watch it from the beginning and I'm excited to see so many of you in the challenge. Have a good night, you all. Love ya. Bye.